Hi there, Sutamani again. Hope you've had some fun um, labelling your emails as they come into your Gmail address, which was what I covered in my previous uh, video. There is another way you can label um, emails as they come in. Um, again, once again, I'm in my junk email box. So let's um, give this one here an e um, a label. You highlight the actual email, and then you go up here to More Actions, and down to filter messages like these and it automatically puts the email in for you you don't have to copy and paste it go to the next step put a label on it new label we'll call it the person's name oops two finger expert I am okay and now there are six conversations that it's searched and found so I'm going to apply it to all of them and back to my mail and you can see it's now got the label on it another thing I wanted to show you was um, how, how I use the star if you look here next to the name of the person that the email came from is a little star feature. Now for example um, you can see a lot of the emails here are labelled Adchiever which is one of the websites I use for marketing and the very first e email I got from Adchiever, let's have a look and find it, I've got 2,309 uh, emails from them. If I go down to the very first one, oldest uh, it actually isn't here in this email address. What I did was I registered with my primary email address and then um, I transferred the email to here. So let's say for example this one here was the email that came in with my uh, user ID and my password in it. So that it would stand out from the crowd I'd give it a star like so. Then you can if you want to um, find the email um, address with the ID and the password in it you just click on the file and find the starred one oldest and star there it is stands out find it quickly and easily another feature that I use daily is um, one that's not automatically available with a Gmail you have to set it up so go up here to settings and underneath there is labs which is some crazy experimental stuff and it's in alphabetical order and the one that I use daily is called canned responses here it is email for the truly lazy save and then send your common messages using a button so I'm going to enable that scroll down and save changes Then I'm going to compose an email and I'm going to, you can see now the little tag there is canned responses, that's now become available. There's actually nothing under it yet, but I'm going to make one here. So I'm going to say, uh, hi there, welcome to my blog. That'll do, okay, just to give you the idea. Now if you have an automatic signature, that will you'll have to delete that before you make this. So canned responses, I'm going to save a new canned response and I'm going to call it blog welcome without a queue. Okay, and then I'm going to discard that. So now, um, say for example I get a, a, an email from somebody and I want to reply to them. Um, I can grab their email address that's one way of doing it a lot of um, messages that come into me now have the email address in the message not just click on it automatically Then I'm going to compose an email paste the email address there put my cursor in the text part and click on canned responses and insert blog welcome there it is so you can do like a, a 500 word document there you can have HTML pictures all sorts that you can put in there automatically I should go back to my other email address and make one for you anyway give it a try and good luck with that cheers for now